Good afternoon, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. Today I'll be sharing with you possible safety concerns of bentonite clay. Bentonite clay is praised as one of the most versatile and inexpensive natural treatments available. It is said to provide a world of health benefits and is heralded for its safe and effective cleansing properties. However, in the past few years, there have been bentonite clay products that have been tested for possibly unsafe levels of lead. Bentonite is an absorbent aluminum phyllosilicate clay consisting mostly of montmorillonite, the primary mineral thought to be responsible for its beneficial qualities. It also contains magnesium and approximately 67 other trace minerals. The particles in bentonite clay contain a negative charge that attract all types of toxins and pathogens, which include bacteria, toxins, metals, and pesticides, all of which have a positive charge. There has been some concern about bentonite clay's safety, especially in regard to lead. There was a bentonite clay product found to have unsafe levels of lead in it. The FDA verified the results and went on to find similar problems with other bentonite products they tested. The controversial question now is, do we absorb lead from clay? According to one doctor's website, we certainly do. He states, quote, yes, a clear example is the danger posed by lead-based pots and cookware. These contain lead, bonded in the same way that lead is bonded within bentonite clay. A study was done in Mexico regarding the relationship between eating out of clay pots and having lead toxicity. They showed that clay utensils were one of the larger contributors to lead poisoning among children. End quote. Furthermore, the doctor states that, quote, the FDA report found that bentonite clay contained up to 37.5 micrograms of lead per gram. Micrograms per gram is the same as parts per million, ppm. With an average oral dose of bentonite clay being 2 tablespoons, or 0.72 ounces, or 20.4 grams, this means your oral lead dose could be as high as 765 micrograms per gram. Other companies worried about the public being aware of lead in their products have argued that we already consume high amounts of lead in common foods. To make the most direct comparison, if you consume an average serving size of 100 grams, spinach would likely have no more than 0.3 micrograms per gram total lead per serving, as opposed to 765 micrograms per gram from clay. End quote. On the other hand, we have the scientific point of view. This particular website states, quote, The lead atoms in bentonite clay are so tightly bound in a matrix with other atoms that they do not break away from this matrix as the clay travels through your body or interacts with your skin. In fact, these clay molecules have an unusually large surface area with such a strong negative charge. They act like a strong magnet to draw the positively charged lead out of your body. Opposites attract, as they say, and in this case, these are extremely powerful forces, so the attraction is extremely strong, end quote. It goes on to state further that, quote, unlike food molecules, bentonite clay molecules are far too big to pass through the lining of your digestive tract, into your blood or other tissues. Therefore, they simply pass through your system, cleaning house, as they move along, removing lead and other heavy metals from your body." End quote. Then examples are given as to how bentonite clay has been used in the food industry in order to lower elevated levels of toxic lead accumulated in animal bones and farmed fish. In the studies performed, the animals and fish were fed a certain percentage of bentonite clay for a period of time. Then tests were performed to detect the amount of lead present. According to the article, quote, the clay significantly decreased the lead load. It did not add to the lead load, end quote. On a lighter note, bentonite clay should not be ingested in massive quantities because of the weight expands in the body. Too much could potentially result in the disruption of digestion and in the absorption of vital nutrients. An issue with consuming clay is that it could clog up your lower intestine. Your gums, teeth, and digestive system too could take a hit. When taking bentonite clay internally, 
it is important that it be taken under the supervision of a health practitioner. If you are taking any prescription medications and or high blood pressure is present. I am not a doctor nor a scientist. I am merely providing you with the facts that I have found in researching this topic. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.